and the only limitation you have is in your mind. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you will succeed. Keep pushing forward. Don't give up. <laughs> When you first talk to Joe Reed, you think he could be an inspirational speaker, but when you hear his story, you know he could be one. I lost my limbs at the age of two years old due to meningitis, grain green setup, and they had to amputate my limbs in order to save my life. I died once. You died? Mm -hmm. My uh, foster mother, she beat me so bad, and she was a heavy set woman, and she sat on me once. And I passed out. Joe met his wife, Lori, in high school. Both are 33 years old. When they began dating, she knew he had no hands, but she had no idea he had no legs. He was wearing prosthetics under his pants. And I hit him, I said, ooh. I said, your legs hurt my hand. He gonna say, that's from me working out, baby. I work out real hard. <laughs> the day Joe revealed the truth, his wife's family was startled. He jumped, he leaped up, he said, boom. He came down and he did a twist, and I said, is I'm actually seeing this, but I didn't run. All the rest of them, all my kin folks ran because they was not used to that, but I didn't. I just stayed, I said, this is kind of fascinating. What did I just say do? Huh? Go put the red and ball in. Back to your back? No, you ain't going outside with no coat on. And the couple stays busy raising their three children in their Milwaukee home. She's both on the grab, like this, getting the pan out for some baked chicken. This is how you cook with no hands. Reed says there's nothing he can't do. Seeing him around the kitchen, it's clear he makes the most of what he has. So far, the only thing I have in mass is tying the shoe. <laughs> but Joe says his wife helped him overcome a dire childhood and saved him from deep depression. When we was like sophomores or juniors, he told me, his, you know, his darkest secret, how he wanted to kill himself and commit suicide. You got some candy for me. Reed is determined to give his kids the childhood he never had. That because your parent wasn't there for you does not mean that you don't have to be there for your kids. Kids are innocent when they come in this world. Okay. The Reed household is just like any other busy family. A lot of laughter and teasing and hugs. Lori tells me she does not baby her husband because of his disability. No. No. I treat him like every regular man. And there's something else she wants to share about Joe. Let me tell you something, baby. He might not have his limbs, but everything else works fine. He's a man, you know? Joe Reed, a symbol of the human spirit and a man refusing to focus on what he can't do, but what he can. Bam. <laughs> man with no hands, always got a plan. <laughs> Only thing that can make a person not normal is yourself. 